Okay, we're just gonna do a little PD refresher or just kind of the basic setup of a PD machine. Um, so we got ourselves, I, I just made some generic orders here. So you can kind of look, I just whatever, filled it out, my name, the doctor, the date, um, and then number of cycles, treatment time. In this case, we're just gonna use 1.5 solution and we have, um, we have two liter fill volumes with four cycles. So the cycles alone, would give us a total of eight liters. And then we have a last fill volume of two liters of the 1.5, which, so <laughs> so the eight liters between the four cycles of, of two liters with the additional two liters at the end will give us a total of 10 liters for the entire treatment. So we have our solutions here. So we have the 1.5 dextrose and these are six liter bags. So we have one bag, two bags. So. Um, all together, obviously, that's 12 liters. So we don't need all 12 liters. We're just gonna use 10 liters, but um, we'll, we'll get this set up. So to turn on the machine, I already have it plugged in. You come to the back, flip the machine on. It should start going. There we go, and it's kind of crazy in the uh, camera there. Okay, so it's turning on. So it's telling us to press go to start. So before we press go we're, and load the set, we're actually going to look at the settings to make sure that we they're set properly. So we go in here, arrow down, change program, hit enter. So it's telling us what therapy, so CCPD, that's what we wanna do, so we're good there. Total volume, um, it says 12 liters, 1200 mils. Remember on ours, it was actually 10 liters. So we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna arrow down. I'm just gonna press and hold, oops, went too far. So we got 10 liters now. Now arrow down again, therapy time, 10 hours. Again, 10 hours, so that looks good. Fill volume, two liters, and fill volume right here, two liters. Last fill volume, two liters, last fill volume, two liters. Dextrose is the same. So in our case, they're both, they're all, all bags are 1.5, so that's correct. If they were different, you'd click this and say that they were different. Um, but we're gonna keep it the same. Weight, the units is kilograms, 45 kilograms. Uh, so yeah, you can put the patient's weight in there. Um, at this point, if we arrow down, it's not gonna let us go any further. Um, and so in order to get back to the, uh, to the main menu or whatever, we're actually gonna hit the stop button. So stop, it's gonna just kinda confirm these four cycles, a dwell time of two hours, and then press go to start. So at this point, we are ready to start loading the set. So I'm gonna hit go. It's gonna tell us to load the set. So we unlock this, we can start loading the set. I got a set right here. So it looks like a kind of a cassette tape loads in there. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. Might not work very well. Try to be quick with it too. <laughs> okay, so you get that in there. So it fits, it only fits one way and this will actually lock down into place. So at this point it says load the set. So we hit the green go button and it's gonna start doing some tests. So we have the set over here, it's loaded. And so at this point, it's doing its test and we can we can connect to the uh, to the bag. So just free up my hands, I'm going to just throw this right here using a CRRT machine. Tell me, and now I'm gonna load everything on here. So um, set's loaded. So we have our, our lines here. So this actually will connect on here. And the easiest thing to do is to go from right to left. So starting on the right one. So the right one, hopefully it's still right for you. So the right is our toilet. So this is gonna go to the toilet. You can tell it's, it goes to the toilet. It has a different cap than all the others and we'll show you what the others look like, but it's just a clear um, plastic piece. And so there's a bunch of different ways to, uh, to connect this to the, or not connect it to the toilet, but to hook it up by the toilet. Um, I can kind of show you one way. You can kind of figure your own way out. Um, I'll get it connected. And then I'm gonna take off my gloves because I just touched the toilet. Okay, I took off my gloves. I just put some new ones on, but now I'm just gonna throw at least a piece of tape on um, where I put that on the toilet just so. So we got it. We got the line going from the machine to the toilet. 
a lot of times you'll tape it to the ground. I'm not going to do it right now um, just so the patient's not going to trip on it when they're getting up to go to the bathroom. Um, but for sure you want to, and I'm just going to kind of one hand this, tape it to where it's not um, going to fly out of the toilet. So this is what I like to do. You can kind of do it your own way. But I kind of do a little knot on the back just so, you know, it's not going to fling out anywhere. And then I just like to have it so it's pointing in. And this toilet is gross, by the way. This is in the <laughs> S2. I don't know why. Um, obviously, it doesn't get clean. Um, but yeah, you don't want this going anywhere near the toilet water just because obviously it's an infection risk um, if toilet water is getting into this line. Even though this is all their waste that's coming out here, it could potentially, you know, some of the microorganisms could actually hike up the tube and eventually get to the patient. So you don't want that sitting in the water. So we got that hooked up. Uh, toilet's taped down. So now we're just gonna hook up to our bags right now. And by the way, I changed my gloves again. Uh, this isn't what I touched the toilet with. Open up the bags. They are perforated, so it should be somewhat easy to open. Okay. One bag there. And our second bag. So we got our two bags, 12 liters total. Again, our treatment is only 10 liters. So we took the first line, it went to the toilet. Our second line, which is this red line, the easiest way to remember, red goes to the heater. The heater is on the machine. We're going to connect this red line to the bag here. We want to keep it as aseptic as possible, keeping it clean. And this just screws on right there. So it gets threaded on. And then our next line, our white, is what's going to be our second bag. So our, our hanging bag here is going to be the white line. connect it same thing we're just going to screw it on and then to open these up they have a little piece that you have to break let's see if i can do it one-handed so there's this little piece in here that you have to break so it breaks and then like in that case like it's sitting really close so i don't know if the fluid is actually going to run so you kind of want to wiggle it a little bit to get a little bit of a separation it's kind of hard one hand but i don't know i'd probably try to get a little bit more separation but it's broken so fluid should be coming down and then same thing here you break it, you would kind of wiggle it um, just to make sure the fluid's going to run down and into the machine. Okay, our blue guy we're actually not using, and so we can clamp this. We're not going to use it. And then our white, our, our other white line. So this one, you can tell it's, it's kind of important because it has its own little thing. So this guy is actually the one that's going to go to the patient. So we'll keep that unclamped. And then at this point, it's saying open clamps, connect bags. So, okay, we connected the bags the clamps are open it's going to prime the reason we're not using the blue line is because our last fill is this 1.5 solution and it's the exact same as the rest of our fills so all these these uh four cycles before have all been 1.5 solution and then our last fill is the same it's 1.5 and so if this was different um if this was ico or, or something um a, a different last fill then this blue line would actually be going to another bag here um which would indicate like the last fill um bag and so in our case, it's all the same. So we don't need to, we don't need to use a, the, the blue line. So it's just, it's just priming right now. Um, so we're just waiting. It, it takes a few minutes um, and then it'll tell us when we can connect to the patient. So it's just priming all the lines, getting them ready, doing its testing. We'll see this fluid will come all the way to the end here. And then at that point, it's ready to, ready to roll. At this, it finished priming. So at this point, it's telling us to connect yourself. So we are ready to go. Um, so we are just going to clamp this guy and we're going to get it connected to the patient. Before you connect it to the patient, you definitely want to make sure you put a mask on yourself and on the patient and perform hand hygiene. So you're going to wash your hands. They say to wash them for about 60 seconds. Um, so wash your hands, put a mask on, and then we'll get connected to the patient. So we did that. And now we're going to take this. Okay, so we have our lines. Um, we would probably unravel that. I only have one hand, so I may not do it right now. Um, and then we need to connect this to the patient. Obviously, we don't got a patient, but we're gonna connect it here. So let me see if I can do a two hand. So I have my mask on, the patient has his, ma his mask, his or her mask on, and then we're just connecting these. So we wanna keep this as sterile as possible. We have our cap with the iodine on in here. You wanna make sure this is closed when you're connecting it. So this is closed. And then we're gonna pop this top off. If you have a garbage next to you, you can just throw it into the garbage. You don't wanna to touch that, that end there. 
and then we want to take this top off and oftentimes you'll see some iodine um, drip out I would throw it on the ground or in the garbage but I don't have one so I'm just gonna set it right there and then being aseptic you connect them it spins on and now we can open up our clamps open and then we open up right here we're ready to go so I got it connected now we're good to go so hit the go button it's gonna verify our eye drain we actually can go in and change this and I'll show you how um, but for now we can say zero mils so we'll hit go and it's gonna start draining okay so in order to adjust the initial drain um, the alarm for the initial drain so I hit the stop button and so it, it stopped our drain um, so we're gonna go into not change program but make adjustments so we're going to make make adjustments we click this and we arrow down until it says I drain alarm so this like let's say they had a, a fill of one liter the night before um, we want to you know make sure we get a lot of that fluid off so let's just set it let's set it at 500 at least so that just means that at least 500 is going to come off or it'll alarm at us so it's going to alarm until it gets at least 500 mils off and then at this point we are we're good to go again so we can we can hit the stop button to get out of that and then hit go and it's going to start back up it's going to start the initial drain and then it'll eventually switch over into a fill